it really is necessary, especially when you're painting wet and wet, to control the amount of moisture and pigment load that you carry in your brush. It is the key to having a wet and wet passage work. I'm going to, to, to mix up a wash. And we'll just use straight quinacridone gold. And I'm just going to apply a wash in a rectangular shape to this paper. This is wet. It's the first part of our wet into wet. I'm going to make this nice and juicy. Very wet. If I were to drop a completely wet loaded brush, and, and I'll use some uh, quinacridone rose, there is a lot of water and pigment in my brush. And if I lay that into this, you'll notice that the edges really start to creep. and move, and the edge becomes raggedy. The more water you add, you risk a back run. And what happens with a back run, or a bloom, and that's starting to occur right here, is that you carry more water in your brush, more water and pigment, than the relative wetness of the passage of pigment that's on the paper. I'm talking now for a little while and this quinacridone gold wash has had a chance to start to dry. As a matter of fact, some of the shine is starting to disappear in this area right here. What I'm going to do now is make another passage through that area, which should appear differently. I've removed a lot of the moisture from this brush. It's no longer dripping. And the pigment load that I picked up is very stiff. It doesn't have nearly as much water carrying the pigment as these shapes do. And if I make a passage through this area, notice how the edge is soft, but the stroke retains its definition. And this kind of moisture control is something that you really need to learn to be able to handle wet and wet passages. These shapes look very nice. We have a soft edge here, a little harder edge here when I first started the stroke, and they retain their definition. When I carry too much water, notice that the edge is quite raggedy and the definition is not very good in these shapes. <laughs>